Yahoo YouTube. I am Super Yankee, and in today's video, we're going to talk about coronavirus. I want to read to you so the number of cases and the amount of countries that the virus is currently located in. Because, as I've said in previous videos, this virus doesn't grow linearly. linearly. It grows exponentially. So the numbers we see right now are going to quickly become irrelevant in the next couple of weeks. So in Italy, there are 2,500 cases. In Iran, there are 2,900 cases. In South Korea, there are 5,621 cases. In Spain, which is where I'm currently living, there are 194 cases. That's a 29 plus today. In the USA, there are 129 cases five today, the USA is doing a good job at stymieing the spread of the virus. However, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when, because at the rate that this virus is spreading, it's going to probably hit the whole world. And Norway, which is where I'm going next month to go to Ludovico and Tanadi's concert, is currently at 48 cases, which is a 15 plus just today. Why am I reading to you the statistics on World Meter? coronavirus.com today because I want you to get into the state of wanting to prepare for the inevitable. There are upwards 30 countries now with a viral outbreak of coronavirus and the number is increasing every single day. It's safe to say that this virus has broken out of containment which would have originally been in Wuhan, China and is now becoming a worldwide event. And what tends to happen to things that become worldwide events is that they become worldwide perception. And the perception around this virus is that it's a pandemic, that it's the end of the world. And I'd like to give you some self-assurance, it's not the end of the world. This virus has a low mortality rate. However, it's much harder to deal with pandemic thinking when you're actually in a state of pandemonium. So what I want you to do now is to start prepare for the inevitable. Start to prepare for the inevitable. Buy some food, buy some shelf life food, start going to the gym, start sleeping more, start eating more healthily, boosting your immune system because that's the only thing that's really going to help you fight off this virus. We have no vaccines. And start to prepare yourself because I think a lot of people said this was a nothing burger for a very long time, but we're now learning that it's clearly not a nothing burger. It is clearly a something burger. And it's not a burger that you're going to want to eat, but it might be force fed down your throat. So if that tends to happen, if this situation can arise, I want you all to be ready because, you know, people are like looking at us like we're like zombies. If you have raw zombie apocalypse, no, it's not. But I just don't want you to go into pandemic thinking if pandemonium strikes because that's what I'm most scared of and that's why I'm trying to prepare for this outbreak that's possible to happen in my hometown because it's already in Spain and it's already growing at a really steady number. Yeah, YouTube, that's just how I feel about it because it's, it's something that's relative to my life. You know, I want to be a positive person, but I can't be positive without dealing with all the negative things that happen in life. So I have to apply my morals and my positivity to whatever I can to make it a little more relative and to make this, this life choice a little more realistic. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, share it with your friends. We need to get that good word of positivity and awareness out to as many people as possible. Leave a comment. I will respond to all your comments, and I love interacting. And I want to help you guys out. So if you have any questions about this virus or how to get out of pandemic thinking, definitely drop it over there. But even if you don't do any of that, even if you don't do any of that stuff, just keep coming back because, you know... This is a journey that we're doing together, and we can help each other get ready for the inevitable along the journey. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.